neighbours are your best friends They're always welcome through your door But please don't piss us off Remember we pick for your floor Hello and welcome to this episode of the We Pay For Your Floor podcast My name is Phil I'm frustrated And I'm Sarah Why are you frustrated? They don't know what that was. Why are you frustrated, Andy? What was going on tell, there? Tell the group why you're frustrated. This is a safe space. Why? why Share. Why do you feel? What was going on why there? do you feel that you need to resort to alcoholism in order to cope? Because <laughs> I live under you, and that's all you supply. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you're just as guilty. Yeah, that's really I true. I feel as though you have some sort of deep-seated hostility toward the intro. How does that make you feel? On the inside. Talk on the inside. Ah, ah little toot. <laughs> little toot. And today, we will be talking about Walt Disney's frozen yogurt. I knew it was going to be something one day. Ah! Isn't it true that apparently he isn't actually frozen in his world No, he was cremated. Oh, the irony. Quite the opposite. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's. Uh, I'm, he, uh, Who said I'm, he's I'm cryogenically frozen? That was a rumour for years. Con- conspiracy <laughs> theorists. He's In with his yogurt. He's co- cryogenically frozen under Disneyland. Ah. Waiting for them to bring him back. Okay. Um, there's rumours as like which ride he's actually hidden under. Oh. Uh, that some people have said he's under Cinderella's castle. Some people have said he's under Dumbo. Surely it'd be under Frozen Ever After. Ah. ah, but that's in Epcot, and he actually he died. Yeah, no, he so died long before Epcot was built. Before, before oh, Frozen. Okay. Um, so but she wouldn't want to bury it, Walt Disney under that because that's the Florida swamp, and then you know, oh yeah, that's true. You're just gonna get so swamp juice all over him. <laughs> is he cremated then? I think he is. He, I'm pretty sure he's in Burbank Cemetery. Oh right, in sure. California. Okay. Uh, whether, take he's up a lot of room there. whether he's cremated or he's actually in a, a, a crypt sort of thing, I, I can't quite remember. But he's definitely in. What's the, the point cemetery. in being a cr- in a crypt if you're cremated? Uh, the, well, it's like a smaller, like sort of. Tiny temple. <laughs> Tiny temple. Tiny temple. <laughs> yeah. Tiny for temple. The <laughs> <laughs> for the purpose of the tape, I'm well aware that that was Tiny Temper, but the joke was there, and I went for it. Isn't that a food? But anyway, we're, we're getting on topic Sorry, here. we're getting on topic. Are you thinking tempura? No, temper. T-E-M-P-A-H. Is that a fruit? It's a fruit. I've never I've heard of that before. Guys, okay, 100% it We're is. learning some new stuff here today on the shit. podcast, folks. Oh, wait, no, no, we can't be doing this. Sarah's teaching us something. We really can't be doing this. I was about to type on topic then. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back on brand. <laughs> there we go. There we go, temper. Temper, E-H, sorry. Oh! Ooh, what is that? It's is that like a bean. No. Oh. It's a meat replacement. Oh, okay, okay. That's why I know. Is it like a sort of bean. Uh, hang on. Are you Tempura just. just a traditional oh, Japanese. Even relevant. We don't even have to keep this in the podcast. Are you like full time vegetarian now, then? I try. I try. I try. <laughs> but sometimes okay. fried chicken. Because fried chicken is literally the, the shit! shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry we went completely on topic there. Yes. I'm so sorry. Be- before we get any further on, on topic, topic, Sarah. Yes. How is your floor? Uh, <laughs> um, slowly spinning towards the uh, ever-present chasm of death. Oh, I'll, like I'll, I'll meet all. you there. Yeah. Like us all. I'll meet you there. Yeah. <laughs> I- I'm booked in for Bring next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that death is a bus. It's nothing glamorous. It definitely it's a replacement is. It's bus a replacement service. bus service. Oh. Replacement bus service, but what's the route? I'm thinking... It's just around the M25 <laughs> again, in a constant loop. Again, and again, loop. and again. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> That's the I, point, it's hell. I, I was thinking Dundee to Slough. Yeah, <laughs> Any probably. Specific yeah. That's a journey no one wants to no, make. No, it sounds <laughs> I, Either way. <laughs> yeah. You know you're doing bad in life if you're driving from Dundee to, to Slough. Slough. Oh. How would you do that, Phil, out of interest? Because I feel like you knew. 
You well, know, I feel like you know the way from Dundee well, to I, Slough. I, whatever I, shit would, uh, song that is. I would trust the bus driver. Oh. I wouldn't do it myself. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I feel like you know, though. Well, you get on a road, you okay. turn left at the big round bit, ah. um, and then you go down that straight long one. Yeah. Uh, try not to crash into the trees because uh, they're deceptive and they uh, will sneak up on you. Yes, and I do then hear you can't see them for the woods. Aye, forest trees. Aye, well, woods. that's uh, that's what? certainly a thing that does occur, uh, especially yeah. at night time. Yeah, they get very very <laughs> sneaky at night time. <laughs> um, that's why you have to use your flaming arrows. <laughs> okay. Um, or feeling that gasoline. That's why cars have petrol in them. Ah. If you're using diesel, you're fucked. To defeat their enemy. The trees. The trees. Yeah. To be fair, I think they're doing it quite efficiently at this point. Yeah, maybe. They're, they're trying to, you know, get back at us with all their, we will save you by making oxygen. No, that's, that, that's all, that. that's all nonsense. Who needs that? Who, Who needs, needs oxygen? That? Who ah, needs to live? Ah, exactly. And that's my flaws point. And is that we're just slowly spinning towards the ever present chasm of death? And that is why I'm going to set up a fort on the Humber Bridge. There's no trees on the Humber Bridge. Is there no, no trees on the Humber Bridge? No. Oh, no. okay. So, I just took the liberty of uh, researching how you would actually get from Dundee <laughs> to Slough. Uh. It's a roughly eight hour journey. Eight hours? <laughs> well, we are going from Scotland to the south. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, there are apparently some toll roads. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm not going there. Is it including the Humber Bridge on that? Uh, I don't know. We'll have, have to, to pay, pay my going. we'll have to pay my fork crossing tax. <laughs> Apparently, if you were to walk it, it'd take you six days. Ah, oh, well that's well not too bad. Actually, it done in a week. There yeah, we go. Ah, but is that Google Maps is six days? Yeah, it's Google Maps. So it's constant walking with no rest. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, fair enough. That sounds like that sounds like at one point we might have to do that as a finale, as no. a series finale. Fuck no! Absolutely, I'm putting like my foot down now. No. To do no. To I, I you can do that. I think that could be fun. We'll watch yeah. you get lost. <laughs> what? Um, what's the flag of, sl of Slough? That was more difficult than I thought it would the, be to the say. Slag of flag. <laughs> <laughs> Letters, just not necessarily in, in the right, right order. order. What's the a unique child you delivered of a of unique, unique mother. <laughs> uh, the flag of I Slough. Don't. I want to know what the flag That's of Slough is now. Very uh, difficult to say. You have to flag read of Slough. the flag of Slough. I, I really want to know I'd what the flag of Slough is. I'd be more impressed if Slough has a flag. If Slough has a flag. There you go. Uh, I, I mean, I if it doesn't, you could just see what county it's in and what flag that has. Uh. Um, the first thing I get is the Flags Gentleman Club, <laughs> Adult Entertainment Club in Slough. <laughs> That's the first result. Oh, we have to. We're going on a trip. You, you were, I was saying, there you go. That's a f that's a series finale. It's located. <laughs> in you join us live from a strip joint in Slough. The flags. Welcome <laughs> to we pay for your boobs. <laughs> uh, I, we pay for your. I, I think what makes it even better yeah. is it's. I, I don't know why I find this to be the highlight, but it's on Church Street. Aww. <laughs> a oh, that's a Church lot of irony. That is. Why is it called Flags? Who um, calls a strip, uh, sorry, Gentleman's Club Flags? What a bizarre name. We, we, pay for, we here at We Pay For Your Flow would just like to clarify that working in a gentleman's club and indeed, um, you know, flag da dancing for a living is completely valid work. Sex work is valid work and we have no, we all no judgment or shame on people who do have that as a career. We are simply making a bit <laughs> and going with it. I love how Andy I always keeps us on the uh, no on the non band from YouTube. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I would just like to point out that um, I've I've gone into the I've gone down the rabbit hole. Oh, a okay. Bit more. We're still on subject and, right now uh, as well. <laughs> one of the things about the flags, yes. which is just the name of the club, it's called the flags. The flags. Um, is it a club? With Sky TV. Oh shit! <laughs> um, Strippers and Sky Whoa, TV. A, a high Sign class, me up. High class joint. It also has four flags hanging outside of it. Okay. Now, I've managed to determine that there's the English, English? Uh, Scottish, oh, Irish and, Scottish. and Irish flags, but yeah. I can't see what the third one is. Well, you think it was Welsh, one. but it's it doesn't have the Welsh dragon, and that looks like another Scottish flag in a different picture. What is the 
that maybe well, there's only oh wait no four there's, 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 there's the Welsh flag in that picture so it's it's encompassing all except Northern Ireland maybe that was the Northern Irish flag and they're just changing Northern Ireland <laughs> and Wales out Jesus Christ this has gone on a massive tangent uh, <laughs> yes so mm-hmm. so get away from Slough yeah. as quick as, <laughs> as we can possible. as uh, most people as there <laughs> want to do um I have a a little question, a little conundrum, a little thing for you to ponder over. I'm delaying because I can't fucking find <laughs> the thing. You have a little thing to ponder over, Phil. Is that something that you're supposed to say on YouTube? Or I'll by? say it whatever you like. Whatever I like. <laughs> but would you rather mm. fart? Mm. Every time you bleed, mm. or bleed every time you fart. I'd Why like. Why would you not go for the first one? Speaking as a woman, as Eddie Redmayne. As Eddie Redmayne. As Eddie Redmayne. See, because with those with happen <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I have no choice. <laughs> so what? Every time you cut yourself, you just let one go. Well, well, well there's there's um, uh, the marinara um, trench, isn't there? Well, so. yeah. I, I, I knew that with you being of the female persuasion and oh. him being whatever the fuck he is, um, there would be some genetic differences, yes. uh, which would make this question <laughs> even more interesting. But, yeah, Andrew, you go with the first one. Why would, that, why would I choose to bleed every time I fart, considering how much I've been farting recently for some reason? Why, uh, if I go for the first, I don't bleed very often. So if I go for the first one, not only do I not fart much, but it only happens like it only happens like once in a blue moon or something. Mm. If I bled every time I farted, I'd be dead already this week. You have to consider all the different variables in this. One, where do I fart from? Two, <laughs> is there more than one place to fart from? We're, we're going back onto queefs. Oh, we're back onto queefs. Okay. Two, queefs can happen at any time. This exactly. Be prepared. <laughs> Two, where will you bleed from? That is all the things I can think of. <laughs> Those are all the variables. So there weren't a big list. No, no, two. no, no. So. So yes. what? So what? <laughs> what you're saying is that this question is a bucket of wasps. <laughs> yes. One, Cooperative it wasps. is a bucket of wasps, and yes. two, there is a bucket. <laughs> with wasps. Yes. Yeah. So which would you do? Which would you rather then? Andy? Definitely the first one. If the I first one? if I just farted every time I bled, I won't fart very often. The thing about Lady uh, Shark Weeks is that you you do fart a lot during those weeks anyway, so I'm used to that. But you only bleed. So now it's, it's just it's though, just, just synchronising them. For a full like week though. Well, that's true. Yeah. So and a lot of the time, some ladies were probably getting too, too grossed out grossing some men out Periods at this point. are a natural thing yeah. and you should some stop ladies, being grossed out by ladies them. There's ladies punching the air like finally. Um, but you it's just not push your periods as much as you want. Anytime. Um, but it's not always consistent so we're, so we're used to it. Uh, so probably the first one <laughs> and the second one. <laughs> you don't really get a choice. I don't get a choice. <laughs> I uh, suppose so this is giving you a bit more control. Okay. Oh, in fact, if if like if I if I could choose, yeah, then um, fart every time I bleed. That'd be good. Would it be like all the farts that had built up to that point? So if oh, you no, no, like no. cut your finger, it's just one fart. Just one fart sustained for the entire duration of while you are bleeding. Oh, while you are bleeding. Okay. That changes things. That just seems <laughs> what I mean. There are so many factors involved. I thought it here. was like you just farted a little bit every time you bled, not you cut your finger and just. What sort of farts are we talking? Because there is varying degree of well, farts. Well, if if you just prick There's your like finger slightly, then that's maybe just a little toot. Toot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Does it smell? I guess that what, depends your on your bodily composition. Y- your finger or the fart? <laughs> <laughs> the blood. <laughs> the fart. So it depends where the finger's been. No, <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> so, wait, no, no. Yeah, so, <laughs> wait, so, if you cut your finger, would you then fart out your finger and then bleed out your bum? So we... <laughs> Why are you swapping where these things happen? Those are parts of the terms and conditions. This is what I'm there's establishing. No, there's no 0.5 point 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 on no, this. No, 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 no. Fine this, print. This is, this is why Sarah would be good 
when coming face to face with a gin or genie. Yes. She would go into the very <laughs> fine details and make sure there's no I, way this I fucker is going to screw her over. every fucking day, all right? Read that small print, okay? I'd just like to remind you... Otherwise, you end up farting out of your finger. <laughs> How amazing would it be to fart out of your finger, though? Because imagine... Right, there's the title. <laughs> conversation or an argument and just being like you <laughs> finger gun <laughs> oh one minute reload <laughs> anyway finger farts that's what it would be called finger farts oh, he's reading and it has his <laughs> For the purpose of the tape, Phil has a spreadsheet that he logs all the podcast info in, <laughs> and he's currently writing the title for this episode as we're recording. What? Well, you haven't answered my question, though, Phil. Where would the fart come out of, and where would the bleeding come be coming out of? The, the usual place. The usual place. The, the bleeding would come out of the the, the, the place the, that you the wound. You the, the, wound. Impact, the, yeah. wound? <laughs> the, the, the wound or point of impact or just the natural flow. Okay, okay, right. Okay. Unless you want to refer to your vagina as a wound. <laughs> your axe wound, you your are. Your axe wound, yeah. Um, yes, so, okay, so yes. we've established that you would bleed out of the natural place, you would fart out of the natural place, apparently. Um, what was my other question? I don't know. I'm not oh, right, yeah. Unless so you... In, un, unless... Unless... <laughs> that one caught you a little bit later, didn't it? <laughs> okay, no, there is one caveat to that, obviously. Um, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, if you're in Australia, then it'll be reversed. Yeah. What? What? What bullshit is this? Oh, I just wanted to see her genius. face. That's I just wanted... genius. <laughs> As Olivia Newton-John said, shut the fuck up. I think you would suck in the fart and suck in the blood? <laughs> or do you mean that you would bleed out your heart and you would fart out your finger? Yeah. As we know, that, all that, Australian that, anatomy is reversed. Being part Australian myself, I can confirm this. <laughs> that explains a lot you about you, You know why Australians have two noses and one eye? That, yeah, obviously. And they just wear masks on TV. Aye. Um, finger fart. Yes. Um... <laughs> No, so my, I remember my other question now. I remember my other question. So, all the farts that have built up between the last time that you bled and this time that you bled would all come up as one long monotone. <laughs> well, um, are we talking E flat? How many people have be... a, a stockpile of with, bank of farts? I, I, I was, was yeah. going to say, with, with this bank new system, farts. I think we can eradicate the stockpile. We sto- oh, right, okay. So <laughs> it, <laughs> see what you did there. It is just, Pile. Mm, <laughs> uh, it is just one spontaneously created okay right okay N- it smells i'm assuming or is it just depends on your roughage depends on your roughage so your dna your diet stuff like that comes yeah. into comes into play okay okay, okay. like it would a normal fart yeah this isn't a normal situation <laughs> no we're farting at our fingers apparently <laughs> um oh. in, in which case uh, to answer your question 30 minutes ago um, yeah. Good question. <laughs> was this the only would you rather that you had planned, or was there more? Yes, it was. Oh my god! Of course, of course it was. <laughs> I've had this plan for months, and I just never bothered and to get around to, to asking get, like, it. we managed to get 15 minutes of content out I of it. I thought we'd last like 30 seconds on this. It's like, yeah, it'll be that one. No, Why are you no, asking Sarah such a had stupid logistics question? to cover. And I'm glad she did. I'm I so glad we got so always, much mileage off of always off look of at the bloody fine farts. print. <laughs> bloody farts. That's Ooh. if you really get your fine print wrong. That is. That you don't is. want that in soup, do you? They don't want that Ooh, in soup. Ooh, minestrone. Yeah. What's that got to do with farts, Phil? <laughs> I don't know why I asked. <laughs> Sometimes I despair at the two of you. <laughs> um. Taking it, just taking a quick break from the actual recording here. Can you do screen record on your phone? No. Oh, you can't. I can do it on mine. Drag it down from the top. Dra- drag it down from the top. It might be one of the like. I can do it on mine. You should be able to drag it from the top. Because I have there. I have screen record, and if you can screen record, we can 
record like a, a short thingy of you spinning oh, the okay, video, yeah, yeah, okay. and then yeah. and, so and then just send it over. Yeah, and then I can put it into the. So it'll just podcast. it'll just save it as a video. It'll save it as a video file, and then you can okay. send it to me over like Facebook or something. Okay, yeah, I'll do that when I actually go to spin it now. Oh, yeah. like okay. So moving on from farting out of our fingers and bleeding, um. What even was that con? That was such a bizarre conversation. What? Something what? I never thought I would have to leave. Oh no! no I, had another, I had another question. Would the fart cause the cut? But no, you you clearly no, said that the cut would cause yeah, the fart. Yeah, exactly. Cause the, effect. The, okay, carry yeah, on. The, 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 the other option would be the fart would cause. You, you know that in like two days' time at half past three in the morning, you're gonna get another terms and conditions question. From <laughs> me. <laughs> Sorry, the contract's been signed now. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I'm so so I had an idea yesterday um, for a game that we could do, and it's a very simple game. It's basi- it was the basic plan was just going to be uh, I would play the first few seconds of a song, and whoever guesses it first, the song and the artist would get you know points based on that. Uh, and initially, I was going to do it so that the first one to open up the game would be me playing guitar, and then from then on, it'd just be like I'd play the the opening seconds on Spotify. But Sarah, our lovely friend, had an even better idea. In the, we have a theme which I'd already thought out. We have themes or specific artists, and I have a wheel to spin that de- that determines what the theme is for this round. And then I have to play songs on a kazoo. Yes. And they have to guess what they are, <laughs> which is going to make it all the more entertaining because I have to play a kazoo without laughing. This <laughs> should be most fun. So, on the list today we have when it'll let me scroll down, which it won't. Oh, there we go. We have, uh, I got four from each of us, so we have five in total, 90s pop, then Trixie Mattel, who we all like, K-pop, and the 60s, video game music, Disney movies, all emo, all the time, classical, modern rock, slash metal, international music, memes, and musicals. And we've landed on musicals. Oh, okay. Oh, right. dear. Okay. Re- okay. Let's let's go. <coughs> uh, uh, pretending he's inside me. On my own, pretending he's inside me. Not on the What's the face? Uh, she got done over in the film. Anne Hathaway? I just need the, the, the song title and the oh, musical it's from. I know it's from Les Mis. I, 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 it's from Les Mis. You've already said the song title. It is. Well, it's it, inside me. No! That's not even the line! On my own? Yes! Okay. Uh, so point point each. Point oh, each. All I know is the silly fucked up lyrics. <laughs> yes, because you're a twat! Right. <laughs> Love. No. Oh. Okay. I genuinely believe that was the real lyrics for no, the No, I was pretending there. he's beside me. Oh. For fuck's sake. You think he's pretending he's inside me? <laughs> We've all been there. Come on. <laughs> right. So it's one all right now. Uh, what's the next one there? Uh, okay. <clears throat> Yeah. All that jazz, Chicago. Oh, nice one. Two points yeah. to fill. There we go. Yeah. So one, three. Okay. Lemon juice. Good. Good. I will win. <laughs> <laughs> I clearly know more birds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was the one? Oh, that one. <clears throat> Oh, um, it's from Blood Brothers, and it's um, say it's not true. Uh, Bring in the clowns, no. Marilyn Monroe, no. You're so close. Say it's not true. You're close enough. Uh, What's it called? Close enough. You're right there. Say it's just a dream. Say it's just a movie. You've got it's the it's the first line. You've just got the first words wrong. Tell 
Maybe it's not true. Damn it! I'll okay. give you it though, because oh, you nice said one. that you were close enough, yeah, so I'll give yeah, you yeah. two points. So that's three such odds. a good play. Blood Brothers is great, it's very, very good. Mm. And that's a good song. I'm trying to be good and not... Um, Have you seen that film? Two scouts. Oh! <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be scouts? Wait. Yeah, it's set in the Aren't before. you supposed to be scouts? Fuck no, off! No, not! <laughs> He's after no Phil. <laughs> Ever so slightly, my dear. <laughs> oh, uh, six. six. Uh, sorry, not sorry. Ah. Don't lose your head. Ah. There you go. Don't lose your head from six. So a point each because you both said six around yeah. the same time, but an extra point for both because you got the title first. Well done, Phil. So. Five, four. Yeah. Three, or something. Two. Two. One. Okay. Uh, what can we do next? What can we do next? What can we do? Oh. Okay. Oh, it's from... Mm. Not Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Ah, what's that one? It's, oh, she's singing in the pub. Um, Papa, Oliver. Uh, Oliver. Damn it, I knew it was a little boy's name. Seven, four. Papa. It's not Charlie in the Chocolate no, Factory. I no, I know the kid's name. No, that's why. it is Bed. What is Bed? <laughs> and that's the song I was listening to a lot that night, if I remember right. Was it? I don't remember. But yeah, that New Year's Eve where I got really happy with so the it's whiskey. Seven, four, and we've done five songs so far. Mm. I'll do another five because this is going by quite quickly, actually. Okay. Uh what is in Sons of Lady Nibs? Um Actually I'm gonna do that one, see uh, see if any of you can actually get it. Uh I need to know how the chorus goes. Family musical. No. <laughs> no. I don't know. I think Carrie has sung it on a video, but it's not oh, that. Y- you know the word. Yeah. I, I know can't the remember the name tune. of the song. Nouns. It's them damn nouns. Well, well sing some of the lyrics and see if you get the title. Skip to can't. the end of the chorus. Um. She's dead now. <laughs> but she's mine. Waitress, and it's um. Oh, I can't remember the name. Oh no, I can't remember the name of the song. I'll give you a point for waitress though. Oh, okay, so it's nice. seven five. The yes. song's called "She Used to Be Mine." She used to be mine, because that's one of the like the most difficult songs, isn't it? I suppose really? uh, uh, the one that I sent you on the list apparently Is it? on YouTube. Apparently, it's a really difficult one. Maybe emotionally, it's not range wise. Yeah, I think emotionally. Range-wise. Yes, it's a very waitress. emotional song yes. though. Uh, so it's seven five. Yeah. Uh, okay. How many songs? That was song six. Yeah, that was song six. So I've got four more left. Okay. <coughs> what was I gonna do? Oh yeah. Uh. Oh, it's kind of hard to do the chorus song, so I'm gonna have to just go from the beginning. Okay. <laughs> Burn Hamilton. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, oh, nine, I five. knew what it was. Damn it. Okay, yeah. My favourite song from Hamilton. One of the ones that I actually like. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, listeners, but if you're a Hamilton fan, I don't like it. No. I, having now watched it, boring. did not enjoy it boring. that much. There's like four songs that I enjoyed. Apart from that, I don't care for Hamilton. I'm very sorry. No offence to Hamilton himself. But Birdie's a great song. Apparently wrote a good uh, book. Oh, okay. Three more songs. Three more. Three more. Okay. <laughs> That's quite interesting, isn't it? How'd you fit okay, that in there? Okay, um... Carefully. Oh. Oh. 
hopelessly devoted to you, Greece. Oh my god, I didn't even hear 11, that! Five. Nicely yeah. done! Oh okay, yeah, so Phil's definitely won. Yes. But, we'll but carry on, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying that, I'm enjoying the kazoo more. version. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is really, fr it's gonna sound so stupid because it's on all on the kazoo. So all on the kazoo. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Actually no, I'm not gonna say that because it's a clue. Uh, okay. <coughs> Dead girl walking. Uh, Heather. Heathers. Yeah, dead girl walking. Heathers. Yeah. yeah. Sarah got the title just before you. So twelve six. Uh, last one. Last one. That's um, that's Disney. I'm avoiding Disney. Um. He's avoiding us as well. <laughs> Doesn't return my calls. I live with you. Neither Walt nor Roy. No Disney. Oh, di oh, okay, okay. Disney? I thought I meant he's avoiding us. Are oh, I'm Disney? avoiding you, sorry. Are you Disney? Are you Disney? <laughs> are you Disney? Dear listener, are you Disney? <laughs> are you Answers Disney? on a postcard. <laughs> Comments below. Okay, let's well, so, uh, Okay, I've got one, I've got one. Think you think you should have right? Okay. Down on Skid Row, Little Shop of Horrors. There you go. Oh. Uh, we have to do that for assembly once. Yeah, oh, did you? More. Yeah. We did. Uh, we did the play at school, and I was a Renette. Very nice. Thank you. I thought you were going to say you were uh, the Audrey too then first, yeah. <laughs> I was the plant. I really thought you were going to say that you thought she was the dentist for some reason. I fucking love the dentist song in uh, <laughs> the Little best. Shop of Horrors. That is the best song. It's the, specifically the bit where he goes, oh, mama. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think Phil won 12. Oh yeah, just a bit. Eight. <laughs> was it, I think it was 12, eight. 12 and less than 12. <laughs> yeah, 12, eight. Yeah. So Phil wins. Yay! I like that. I enjoyed that with the kazoo. That was as well. fun. It's very. It kind of makes it more difficult to, to pick it out as well. Yeah, that's why it's a really, it was a really good like idea that. thing to do it with the kazoo. This is just a brief one, uh, coming from everyone's favourite piece of crap, <laughs> um, the Sunday Sport. Oh, oh, oh right. Okay. Unusual. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> This, uh, I'm just going to read you the main headline and see if you can get what the subheading was. Okay. Um, I thought I was at home. That's the main headline. Okay. Right. What do you think the subheading could be? And this is the Sunday sport. It is. If you like. Is, it, is the subheading going to be like the voice of the, the narrator? He was not home. <laughs> he was in the milk section in a Sainsbury's. The uh, the picture, not that there's much that you can okay, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just of a man. Okay. Just a man. Right. Uh, okay, that's fun. Uh, a man sat at a desk, but the desk is where the, the subheading is, so I can't really show I you I thought that. I was home. I was actually passed out in Wembley Stadium. I was... <laughs> I thought I was home. Depending where in the country it's from, I thought I was home, then all these bloody foreigners came in. Oh shit, yeah. I thought I was home. For the purpose of the tape, that is not the view that we at We Pay for Your Floor hold. I am just mimicking the Keep voice of a lot of people around my area. Um, I thought I was at home. He was. <laughs> um, I thought I was at home. I was in fact at, at home. home. Maybe to contextualise this a little bit more, yeah. um, it's something that unfortunately you have had to deal with more and I am not dealing with right, okay. due to circumstances, mm -hmm. is returning to the office. Right. Um, so the when he sport? farted. So uh, he is now... Was he pointing uh, at someone? A, a <laughs> little caption on the picture yeah. says, unfair dismissal, uh, colon, Leonard is now planning to did sue firm. Did he oh. accidentally forget he was at the office and not wear pants? Trousers, sorry. 
well, either one, yeah, I, I, like either one of those the would be... There, wouldn't you? You'd have to travel all the way there. Unless he got us. into the office and, and just stripped off. <laughs> yeah. Got a bit too I comfortable. Think, it's going to have something to do with the fact that he's so used to Zoom calls or I think it. I think it's like a bodily function. I think it's either a disgusting fart or a really loud burp. Or maybe he just swore a lot. Like a really vile fart. I think it was a vile uh, that's fart. That's probably another reason I couldn't go back to the office, because I... Vile fart? Uh, well, no. Well, yeah. Well. <laughs> Well, well. <laughs> uh, no, but oh, hello. I, oh, hello, <laughs> I, I get, I, maybe it's just the, the type of customers I have to deal with now, but I get a lot more anger with yes. the customers now. Yeah, you that. may have heard me sometimes. <laughs> no, actually. Uh, yeah. He certainly does. Yeah. <laughs> um, where I will take my headset off, mute the mic, yeah. actually disconnect the mic so just that I, I, I'm certain that it yeah. is not <gasps> going to, like, oh, why are you such a stupid twat? <laughs> How do you not understand basic concepts? If you were in my team, I'd give you a bonus just for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> because across the office you'd hear, ah! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> um, I think it's flatulence. You think it's flatulence? I think it's flatulence. Andrew? I think it's something to do with him being used to being on Zoom calls and I think he's like said something horrendous. Like maybe he said something like... To himself. Or about a customer, like someone's oh, missed yeah. him or uh, forgetting he's not at home now and people Ooh. have heard him and he's gotten fired for it. Go on, what is oh, it? it's so much better. Is it? Oh it? god, what is it? I thought I was at home, says employee who wanked in office <gasps> on his first day back at <laughs> <in> work. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god, that is so much better! Right off, there is no way to Look at the miserable face as well. <laughs> no one wants to see that yeah. wanking. I definitely don't want to see that wanking. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> no, so no, funny. he didn't. He thought he would get away with it. You don't suddenly lose the gift of sight once you start, <laughs> you start wanking. Oh, I've not got a call. I'll have five minutes. Oh, I've, shit. Hey up, Karen. I've magically transported to my front room. No. Yeah, oh. that's so funny. <laughs> I like how as well. They've not gone the, you know, the grown up. Um, Masturbated. No, they could have wank. said that. No, what they've done is wank star. I really want to put wank in this article, but I don't know how. <laughs> uh, the asterisk is like, I've got you, mate. I've got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it's so great. funny. That's enjoyable. <gasps> the poor person that walked in on him. <laughs> that might be why you got fired. <laughs> Uh, I imagine. That's what a of them. I imagine if it like it was the first day back at the office, so that we're like giving a tour to like <gasps> no. people or something like that, and he's like, and and he, he is. He's a wanky man. <laughs> <laughs> he he is Leonard. It's just uh, as you can see, he has interesting tastes. Well, that was Leonard. <laughs> Maybe a little more of him than we would like. <laughs> Do you know, I wonder if he was either in a cubicle or like an actual like shut away office. Because there's very few people that have like a shut away office. Yeah. So he was probably in a cubicle. Do you know what I mean? Or at an open air desk. Yeah. So. Oh. Oh shit. Yeah. Right there's on the bollocks. middle of the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Just like rows and rows of tables all around him. <laughs> Does anyone else With like some absolutely filthy German dungeon he's porn. He's doing it under the dungeon top porn. He's doing it under the table and the person down the, the long row of desks going, can anyone else hear that banging? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know why that desk is shaking. <laughs> oh, Leonard. <laughs> oh, Leonard. Poor oh, horny wanky. Leonard. <laughs> Poor <Anyway>. wanky <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> The best new story you've done so far. Oh, that was hilarious. It's a story of wanky Leonard. <laughs> Once upon a time. Right, he's gonna, that's going to be his name for the rest of his life. Wanky. Are we going to see Uncle Wanky Leonard? <laughs> wanky Leonard. <laughs> oh, can we put Wanky Leonard in the title, please? <laughs> Oh, how amazing would it be to fart out of your finger slash the tail of Wanky Leonard? Or oh, maybe it's just a question to Wanky oh. Leonard. How, what what about how amazing would it be to fart out of your finger, Wanky, Wanky Leonard? Leonard? <laughs> Our titles are getting better and better each week. 
a five fingered farty wank. <laughs> Would there be an E in wanky? I thought it would just not have an E. Would there be a Wanky comma Leonard. Well, yeah, there'd be a comma after finger. Is ve- <laughs> comma your is finger, very important. Finger wanky. Finger wanky Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, please comment because we will now henceforth him. No, you was wanky, wanky Leonard. Wanky Leonard. Anyway, sorry. And that's going to do it for this week's episode of the We Pay the Old War podcast. I have been Andy. I've been Phil. And I'm Sarah. And until the next episode, we will see you later. Um, I'm going to go home and be the best neighbour I can be. Remember, no wanking. No wanky Leonard. We could walk in any moment. <laughs> you could, could that, yeah. Anyway, you'd better. Because we pay for your fucking floor. floor. <laughs> for your floor. Sorry, Phil was <laughs> taking a while to come in then. <laughs> like what Wanky Leonard. Like <laughs> Wanky Leonard. He was taking a while to come. you happy? <laughs> Don't touch me! Editor Phil, play the credits, play the credits! Um, no, you know the cricket song? Doesn't that remind you of it? No? <laughs> well, slightly. Yeah, okay. I want to go home. <laughs>